Reiki is a Japanese word. It means uh, universal life force healing. This is just the energy that's, that animates everything in life. It's what, what makes the, the trees green. It's what makes the, the birds sing. Um, it creates the world as we know it. And when you're, when you're using Reiki, you're, you're asking that energy to, to come in in a focused way to bring healing. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a pretty standard guy. I, routine is one of my things. I always eat the same thing uh, Monday to Thursday. I have a salad with um, a little cheese on it. And then on Fridays, I have a shrimp salad because it's a little bit of a special day, end of the week. When you experience a trauma, you store that. And as it gets stored, and you, you create these blocks, and eventually this creates physical pain. So with Reiki or with another kind of energy work, you're working to release these blocks. I got some shorts here, I got my socks here ready for each day, I've got my sleeping shirts here, got clean underwear laid up here, uh, handkerchiefs, spare towel. My shirts are in the order I'm going to wear them. I honor and welcome the, the energies of Reiki and then I call in, um, I honor and welcome the Mother Earth. Time, to me, is, is uh, one of the governing factors. So I always make sure my watch is set right, and I always listen to the CBC time signal at 10 o'clock. So this year I turned 60 and decided that maybe I should uh, be a bit more adventurous, and I decided that I'd come over for a few days onto Galliano Island and um, while I was here I saw some signs advertising massage and I called around and found that this uh, one lady is available to give me Reiki massage and uh, I hear it's a form of Japanese massage so I thought I'd give it a go. Someone asks me to give them Reiki, I'm not giving it, I'm, I'm just a channel, just a conduit. It can transform you right away. if if you're ready for it, if that's what you want. I've had deep tissue massage and stuff in Tofino, so I'm assuming it's some sort of tissue, some sort of massage of muscles and whatever. Not quite sure how strong our hands and stuff will be. I guess I'll find that out. When I worked on his head positions, the first position on his eyes was really strong. There was a lot happening, and which is nice to be in the first position and have a conversation already. Part of it, I, I think, is this space because when before I started, um, when I was making my connection, I, I felt a lot of magic here. And uh, then when I was in his belly, more communication and more happening. And I got a message about home, missing home, or connection to home. That's James's guides talking to me. At some, pl at some points when, when I'm working on someone, the sensation comes up as, it's almost perceivable as a mass. And it's, it's something that usually I'm, I'm told that doesn't need to be there. So I take it out and cast it aside. I'm trying to analyze the sensations uh, tingling or anything, but I, I didn't feel any of that. I just felt the physical touch. When electricity flows in a wire, it creates heat. And for me to accept that energy is flowing around my body, I would need, I would expect to have some sense, some physical sense that it's happening. You can, you can choose that Reiki is not real that prayer is not real, that 
meditation is not real, that Santa Claus is not real. But what would Christmas be without Santa? I, I do believe that we create our own realities and my reality is not in the energy form of Reiki. Thank you.